Just after we all learned about DeAndre Baker and Quinton Dunbar's robbery attempt, we now have a former Clemson football tiger who's been arrested in connection with a recent double murder, and an Oregon cornerback was arrested on eight charges, which, you guessed it, includes murder. It's Devin Howard. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Make sure you subscribe to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Something's going on here because we've had a lot of athletes committing some pretty crazy crimes. Let's start off with the Clemson football player who has been arrested in connection with a double murder. The bodies of two women who were stepsisters were discovered near Rome, Georgia earlier this week and authorities quickly came to the conclusion that they had been murdered. Desmond Brown, the former Clemson football player and a man by the name of Devin Watts were arrested. This all happened just after Desmond was brought in on a misdemeanor charge for obstructing a police officer in connection with the case. Both of the men have not yet been charged with the murder of the women. The police department said, quote, these arrests were the results of search warrants executed on apartments and vehicles based on leads that were developed and tips received from the tip line. Desmond played for the Clemson team but was dismissed for violating team rules. He eventually left and went to play for the West Alabama Tigers. Our hearts go out to the victims and their families. In other news, Luke Hill, former Oregon signee cornerback, is behind bars after he was arrested on eight separate charges including attempted murder. The 18-year-old athlete was charged on multiple accounts that includes possession of a firearm, attempt to use an assault weapon, and attempted first-degree murder. He was a four-star recruit and rated the 15th best cornerback in the country by 24-7 sports, and now he's behind bars. In other NCAA-related news, the Division I Council has voted to approve voluntary workouts for football and basketball teams for the month of June. As it stands right now, colleges likely won't be open for in-person sessions by the fall. Last week, the NCAA president said that schools won't bring sports back unless students are allowed on campus. It'll be complicated for college sports to return, but this is at least a step in the right direction. What do you guys think about the crimes these athletes committed? Are you shocked by them? Also, when do you anticipate college sports to come back? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble, and I'll see you later.